In this video, we're going to talk about setting up quizzes with optional questions. A common way to design an exam is to give students some choice over what questions they're going to answer. A lot of times they use the essay question and you'll say something like write an essay on one of the following three prompts. Um, students perform better often if they can pick a question that they feel more confident and it gives them some agency and may also decrease the incentive to cheat. So the first thing you wanna do is click on add an activity or resource and add a quiz. You can give the quiz any name you want. Just call it test quiz for now and set any options you want for timing, review options, and when you're ready, hit save and display. That's the first step. So the second step is to add the actual questions to your quiz. And here's where we're gonna go through the options. So we're gonna click edit quiz and click the add button and add a new question. And we're gonna select essay from the list The question name is arbitrary, it's just for you. So we'll just say question one. If you wanna keep them organized, then you can label them more clearly. Something to keep in mind is that if you're gonna give multiple possible prompts for an essay, then you might want to label these something like essay one and write your first essay here, whatever the topic is. That way you can keep track of what they're called and who is actually taking which quiz question. As we go through here, you don't need to set default points. We'll do that as we continue. And unless you need something specific where they need to write a lot, or upload anything, you can leave everything here as the default and hit save changes. So now we have one question and you're gonna need to create as many questions as possible that you want them to answer. So if you're gonna give them eight possible questions to choose from or six possible questions to choose from, then you need to create all of those options. So let's say we were gonna give them four essays to choose from, but you only want them to do two of them, then you would create four essay questions and you would make those equal value up to 100%. So I've now created four possible essay questions. And since we only want two of them to count, and everything has to equal 100 points, we're gonna make each one worth 50 points. So to change that, in the default, we're gonna click on the little icon here and hit 50 and enter and make each of them worth 50. So that's gonna give us total points of 200. Now we're gonna make the maximum grade 100 and hit save. So now Moodle is going to do some math and give them a grade based on what they do on the questions, but we need to go into the grade book next and do a multiplier so that it sorts that grade appropriately. Before we head off to the grade book, we want to do one quick thing, and that is get our multiplicator. And we do that by dividing the total points by the maximum grade. So when we do that, we're going to get a multiplicator of two. So now we'll head off to the grade book and we're going to use that to set our percentages appropriately. And we'll go to the grade book setup. 
and find that quiz that I just made. Okay, you click on edit and edit settings. And under great item, you're gonna expand to show more. And then where it says multiplicator, you're gonna change that to the number that you found. So that's gonna be a two. And then you're gonna hit save changes. So what that will do is it will take the two essay questions that students actually complete at a graded out of 100 points. And the total points available is 200. So that will be divided by the real maximum, which is 100, and a multiplicator of two to give them the percentage appropriate on the grade and automatically give them the 100% value on their quiz. You can also use this for extra credit. So if they do more questions than the required, it'll automatically give them extra credit up to 100% of the exam grade. I hope that is helpful and stay tuned for more instructional questions.